passed. I have to ask, what laws are you talking about? Can you be specific? I'm sorry, I'm very nervous, but uh, this is what you do. This Can is what you do. You take people and you put them under the spotlight and you... Well, hold on. I, I, didn't, I didn't ask or you to come up here. You voluntarily came to the front of the line. You didn't have to do that. You're purposely antagonizing people on campus, asking How? people to come up by spreading your weird agenda. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Cook. Did Hater try to flash Charlie C Cook to get him banned on YouTube? I call him Charlie Kick because of kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. Do you feel uh, proud of yourself? <laughs> for debating college kids um, who are unprepared to speak in front of an audience like yourself. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, you're 30 years old. We, we can agree you're 30 years old, right? Do you think that's a little bit silly? Are you a voter? I am a voter. I'm oh, a so voter. I vote and you vote. So I'm talking to voters of this country that will determine the future of Western civilization. And that's what I'm doing here today. Yeah? Wait, hold on. How is it any different than a professor talking to you? Then a professor talking to you? Who who are you? Well, enough <laughs> important enough for you to come up to a microphone. True. Actually, when I first saw this ad, I thought it was like a like an improv comedy thing. It looked so ridiculous that I didn't even think it was real. Um, well, no, you can see. Look how popular Trump is on your campus. How does that make you feel? <laughs> that, that that's not comedy. That, that is a five-alarm fire for Kamala Harris, because she's probably going to lose Pennsylvania. Look. But no, I just want to be clear. Is there something wrong with talking to voters? No, there's nothing wrong with talking to Well, that's to what voters. we're doing here today. It's an open I mic. I think that you push a dangerous agenda. Such mm -hmm. as? Your stance on uh, abortion rights, for example. Here we go. Okay, so... So Vincent, let me ask a question. What is what is your name? Gene. Gene. And what is your understanding of the current Republican Party's stance on federal intervention in abortion? Well, I know that they want to bring it back to the states, right? So, so, the, so it sounds like you do know that the Republican Party's current stance on abortion is they're against a federal ban on abortion. I do understand. And we're talking that, about a yes. presidential election as the yes. important election that we're talking about here. I understand that. Yes. Great. So again, I, I think this open dialogue is great. I think it's great you're here challenging Charlie, and I think it's great that he's willing to travel campuses across this country to talk to the next generation. We need more conversation. Now, where's the disagreement, though, on content? You could criticize style or why you're talking to people Listen, or dunk on someone personally, but where do you actually disagree with I the agree substance? I agree with the way that you edit content and specifically frame it so that people look bad talking to you. You, the way that you edit your content. We post unedited content. Let, let me just let me just ask you one thing though, because we could, you could personal personal insults can fly in all directions. Where is an area where you have a disagreement with the conservative movement, with Donald Trump, with Charlie Kirk, perhaps with myself? I was a presidential candidate last year. I think we need to talk about that more in the open. And the more we do, the stronger our country is going to be. We got a long line of people, but I want to hear from you one substantive area where you have an authentic disagreement, and I'd be glad to address it. I'm sure Charlie would too. Just in any. Anything. Any relating, political. Relating to any political topic where you have a disagreement. Let's air it. Okay. Um, I disagree with uh, the, some of the uh, laws that are being pushed in Congress um, that are against the LGBTQ community and the trans community. Okay, so let's talk about that. I'm going to give you my view, and then I want to hear yours. Okay. My view is that if you're a fully grown adult... 18 or above, you're free to live how you want, dress how you want, marry who you want if you want, if okay. you're over the age of 18. I agree. But you are not free to indoctrinate children in schools who are not yet of the age of consent. You are not free, just as you're a 17-year-old or a 15-year-old can't get a tattoo on their own, I don't think that you should be able to go or until the age of 18. And so the lines that I draw here is that men are free to claim to be women and swim in swimming pools. You're not free to cr claim trophies in a women's sports competition. You're not free to enter a women's locker room. You're not free to change a language. And you're not free to actually indoctrinate our children who are under the age of five in schools. Do we agree on the fact that adults should be able to live freely while still treating children differently? If so, we're on the same side of this issue. 
Listen, I agree with the majority of what you said. However, I, I don't think that you're understanding the, um, the implications of the laws that are trying to be passed. Look, we got a head start in the conversation. We got a long line behind you. But my only ask is forget the personal attacks or the stylistic attacks. Focus on substance. The more we debate that, the stronger we're going to be as a country. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I don't think you're focusing on substance, though. That's the issue. Hold, hold, hold on. Look, he, he intentionally tried to provoke substance out of you. And you said, well, I'm worried about some laws Congress should pass. I have to ask, what laws are you talking about? Can you be specific? I'm sorry, I'm very nervous. But uh, this is what you do. This okay. is what you do. You take people and you put them under the spotlight and you... Well, hold on. I, I, didn't, I didn't ask or you to come up here. You voluntarily came to the front of the line. You didn't have to do that. You're purposely antagonizing people on How? campus. Asking How? people to come up by spreading your weird agenda. How? What, what agenda is that? I, I'm, I'm confused, though. So, Charlie, I'll, I'll, I'll say this. We'll, we'll, we'll end on this and we'll go to the next question. When I was 18, and I'm not going to blame you for this, I also took for granted a lot of the stuff that the media force fed me, because that's what you know at the age of 18. You say there are some vague laws making their way through Congress that are hostile to the trans you community. Know how, I don't think those do you laws know actually about, exist, but I don't blame you if that's me. what the cable media is feeding you. <laughs> But let's get to the specifics, and then we're able to actually have an open dialogue. And that's one of the things I've learned over the last 20 years. I think that the issue is, is of, we're getting our media from our different country. sources. Both people are getting media from these skewed sources. The facts that you're presenting are not always correct. And that's why we're here with no TV screens between us. So people who have policy-based substantive disagreements, we invite those. I think that's how we're going to get our country back. And as it relates to trans, which you brought up, 18 or above, you're free to live how you want. You're not free to force that onto somebody else, or especially kids. And if we agree on Thank that, you we very make much. some progress. Thank, Thank you. you. Disagreements, yeah. This lady right here is a true definition why college just come. Like full, full. That, that is the best definition for you to put. College is a scam, or you are being brainwashed. She's the full definition. She has literally nothing to see. She just came here to waste time and say rubbish and get Charlie banned on YouTube. That was just her plan. Because her argument was baseless. She could not point something and she said, Charlie, take people to manipulate them so they will say bad things. He never forced you on the stage right there or the mic and speak out and say your business argument. He never forced you one bit. She literally have nothing to say. She just made him make me feel like this generation, we, this upcoming generation that we are in now, we just need God to save us. Because if this is our future leaders, damn. Whew. It's serious. <laughs> it's really, really serious. For her, she, she was nervous, number one. If you are above 18, for me personally, if you are above 18 and you want to marry whoever you, who you want to marry, be whoever you want to be, free. But don't impose that on children. That is my own definition. Like, if... What's my own take on LGBTQ? That's my own take on LGBTQ. Period. Your abortion, everything you brought out right there is, for me, abortion itself, the children growing inside the woman, the mother's stomach, the stomach have the right to live. Period. As long as the woman concepted to have sex, as long as the woman as pregnant for a living being, for a child inside her, the child have to come out, have to be born. Because the child itself have rights. Even if they agree with me or not, the child has rights to live. Her argument right here just got me pissed because she had literally nothing to see. And Vivek was very patient and talking to her calmly with understanding and knowledge but she was not getting that because she's silly. Right here, she, she was acting very, very silly. Chadikek was understanding, but she was just against him and saying he's been manipulative. Tell me how he manipulated you to come right there on that stage to hold the mic and speak nonsense. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as comments, subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. Puff.